It was a dark and stormy night, and I had a shocked look upon my face. And then I realized, I'm not wearing any underwear. And that's the end of my story. Uh, what's going on, everybody? My Chris, and welcome back to another like, sunny episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. Last episode, we figured out that, hey, it's been a night forever now, and we, it turns out there's a freaking curse on us. Uh, uh, <laughs> and we came to this island because Jabon is here, and I don't know who the heck Jabon is. Maybe we'll find out relatively soon. Probably not this episode, to be fair. Let's explore a house, starting with... <laughs> Grammy, and it's still sad music. Come on, Grammy, I'm going over the fact that our daughter, your granddaughter's missing. What the heck? Bread from the Forest Haven. A black square. Is Grandma up here? No. Still has pictures of nothing but Ariel, I see. And one with a group picture with me in it, but that's more of a link. Can you take this picture for us, please? <laughs> Grandma, you don't look too happy to see me. Oh, mm. Link. Harold, don't go. Don't leave. Don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. I forgot she was lemon grab. <laughs> oh, so grandma's sleeping. Um, Link, Her oh, Okay, you already said that. Shut up. Shut up, bitch. So we can't wake her up. She sleepy sleeps. And that's... Dude, it's like, why would you sleep in that chair? That was really uncomfortable. No wonder you've aged so bad, Grandma. There's a bed right here. Right over there. Maybe, she, maybe that's her bed up there. She felt bad for me and Errol, so she so she let us sleep down there, and she sleeps up there. <laughs> oh, no. What? I'm so far away from her. What? Whatever. Anyways. We'll let Grammy sleep, I guess. It's not like she's sick and dying or anything. Probably not. Let's face it. She's probably fine. Uh, where else can we go? Up here. You guys can probably hear me mash the Oh, <gasps> It's a pig! Pick up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Actually, I think. <laughs> I think we're pissed this pig. Oh, good lord. <gasps> he killed me? Holy crap, that's a strong pig! Seriously? Damn! Oh, you know, because in Hero Mode, everything does double damage. I think he did three hearts of damage in the original game. I don't know, without Hero Mode, I guess, so it makes sense. Does six hearts of damage, plus I was already down half a heart. Hi! <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just busy dying stupidly. Oh, yeah, I still have only three hearts, and that is highly unfortunate. However, we do have a way to get hearts back. We will be getting a way to get hearts back in a bit here. The reason I actually came up here was to go this way. Um, no, I, you know what? You know what? Forget about this house for now. No, the, this kind of point is got We will be going up there eventually, anyways. Oh, I freaking choose over there. Uh, let's go talk to the old men first. The guy that taught me very valuable lessons about life. Not really. <laughs> the tutorial guy that I don't really care too much about. Well, let's go see what he's up to. Oh, whoa, whoa! What did I just walk into here? Oh, Link, you've come back and in one piece, too. Gracious. My granddaughter tells me that your grandmother is in poor health these days. Now I'm certain that a little fairy dust would provide all the, all the lift her spirits need, but, well, the problem is I haven't seen any fairies in these parts recently. Of course, long ago, you could find a lot of them up in the old fairy fountain and you could kept them with an empty bottle. Sure, as easy as you please. Yes, there was a time when I used to like playing with fairies. Uh, ahem. <laughs> what? In any case, ever since the fountain was blocked by that huge rock, I haven't seen no one. Huge rock, eh? Is, is that you, Link? Damn, I hope he died! Oh my god, it's always terrifying. Well, it looks as though you're safe. Unfortunately. That's good to know. No, it's not! Your grandmother has been having a terrible time of it since you left. She was also hoping you died! She rarely leaves the house, and as far as I can tell, she just spends her day sleeping. She hardly eats. But I will soon need her. So, <laughs> well, I should come here to see if my old grandpa knows of any medicine or anything that might make her feel better. Hmm. So, her grandma's actually sick and dying. Well, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> fairy dust. And there used to be fairies in the asylum, but a giant rock blocked a thing. Have you guys seen a giant rock? I don't think I have. That's not true. <gasps> 
You're attacking your giant whale. That's a wooden board, actually. Ah, oh, Link, you are right. Why did you not tell... What? What? Why did you not tell me about Errol? That was thoughtless of you. Because I don't talk, asshole. The island has been... Has seen hard times ever since you departed. Hmm. Do not know what you have been doing on your journey. But you seem a little more daring these days. The look in your eye is not the one he left you with. Very good. Show me how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay, fine. Yep, we gotta do this again, guys. And this is kind of... Well, actually, it's not necessary. You do get a hard piece out of this eventually, though. Uh, if you... Uh, if I must say so, your skills... Your skills with a sword are still that of a page. Very good. Try to me 100 times or more before I hit you three times. Oh, good God. So... He will give you... Bit of warning! I hit my shield too late there. Dang it. Okay. I want to hit him 100 times. So this is not the same... Tutorial! So, yeah. it. I mean, 100 times. It takes forever. Oh, you can even parry his attacks. I did not know that. Okay, get over here. Whoa. Turning around defending is a bad idea, actually. Crazy as that sounds. I guess we, I think parries actually do two hits of damage to him. Oh, hit A. I hit A. I hit A. Okay. We are actually not going to... Once I die here, I'm not going to do this to later. Unless I do get 100 hits, which is possible. Get over here, asshole. <gasps> that just... Oh, that was only do one hit of damage as well. See what happens if I do parry here. Bam! Did I do? I think I only did one, actually. Yeah, so you just gotta kind of watch for him. And he always gets back into these corners. It's really freaking annoying, quite frankly. Yeah. Alright, I guess this will be another thing I speed up until I either die or get 100 hits. So I'll be right back, you guys. So I guess you really could just. Ooh, that was actually kind of close. All right, we'll, we'll cut it. We'll call it quits there. Enough. We got the hundred hits. I'm okay with this dodge pick. Ah, hundred two blows. <laughs> you have improved. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Me to treat you like you were a lowly page. You are a page no more. Now you are a knight. Knight. It is not much, but it is yours. Take this with you. This is gonna be a rupee. Dang it. That's fifty rupees. That's great. Yay! It's like, what the heck? I thought I was gonna get a freaking heart piece from that. Well, do you wish for me again? What's he? Ah, uh, no. So essentially, you have to hit him more. He'll just tell you, like, hit me a million times. Ah. What's that? That knight's Chris? Does that intrigue you, young one? It's still, still too early to discuss such things with you. If you haven't cro come across ten of those, show it to me. Then I can tell you uh, what they are and what they do. But I'll only speak to you if you get ten of them. Wow, what an asshole. So, actually, let's take a look how many we do have. We have two. Yeah, this is our spoils bag, by the way. 20 joy pendants, uh, which use has still evaded us to this day, but we have gotten hints to what they do. Uh, actually, on Windfall Islands, red chew jelly, which, as you know, will give us red potions, but actually, we haven't even really discussed that either yet. We'll buy red potions at the, in Windfall Island as well, at the potion maker, the Dank Shop, in part five. Um, skull necklaces, we don't know what those really do yet. Green shoes, we, uh, once again, can use at the potion shop. We haven't done anything with that yet. Um, these Deku Baba seeds, we already use that to get blue potions at, um, Forest Haven. That's their only use as far as I'm aware. Knight's Crest, which we now know we need 10 of. And these golden quills, which, once again, we have gotten a hint to what they do, but we don't know. And this last slot is actually for blue chew jelly. Um, which we've also seen, but I just haven't picked one up yet because I want to do that as an entirely separate video. So yeah, we have two out of the ten Knight's Crests we need. And by the way, the Knight's Crests, which actually I don't, I think we've only gone for like treasure chests. Actually, I know for sure we've only gone from treasure chests, but it's strange because um, you only need ten of them in the entire game, and you get them through fighting like one of the most difficult enemies in the game. So it's kind of whoa, strange. <laughs> actually, I could use green chew jelly. I don't have eleven of those. Oh, good lord! Ah, seriously, seriously, dudes. Assholes, get out of here. Want to give me some green chew jelly, maybe? Thank you. Make my trip worthwhile. Stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a look at this house up here. The last house of the place, of the world. Well, not really. We have the other house, but we'll be going there eventually, anyways. Hello, what's going on in here? Oh, yeah, there's this guy. 
Eh, Link? Is that you? Whoa. You got to me there, buddy. There's more... I thought more of those monsters had come to harass me. I'll tell you, uh, there have been a lot of strange things going on here lately. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep in ages because of it. I love sleep. Me too, guy. Me too. In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, this was back before the bridge was destroyed. It's up in the fairy woods, near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which is odd enough, but then she vanished into that rock. Really, I saw it with my own eyes. No talk of a rock, eh? I just know it's in the woods, which I'm assuming he means at the top of the mountain here. It's weird that he calls them the fairy woods. Because it's like, you might think like, oh, maybe this is like what's left of the lost woods from Ocarina of Time. Since this game is a direct, like, well, I don't want to say a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. But this takes place in the same, like, uh, it takes place after Ocarina of Time. So, I mean, we surely must know that there's got to be... Ooh, actually, this might be- Oh my god, it's Dennis! Oh, this guy's like- Oh, seriously, don't giggle at me, assholes. I'm running, I'm running low, I'm running pretty low on health. Oh, there's more! Oh no, not the Dennis! They actually might kill me, which will be pretty pathetic on my part. Ah, oh, good lord! Just run for it! Run for it! Run for it, Forrest! There's more- Okay. Oh no, the bridge is completely out. Oh, the bridge is gone. It's completely gone. Whoa, what the heck is that over there? Is there a bottle in there? Really? Really? Seriously? That's really dumb. <laughs> so the bridge is completely out, which is weird. Because, like, like I said, this bridge is always out at this point. But it's like you would think that the sunbird took it out. But no, it didn't. The sunburn taking out makes the most sense since he like swooped down directly onto it. But no, he totally didn't, which is really weird. Anyways, it's pretty easy. You just use your Deku Leaf to get back across here. And I don't even know why the bridge is out. I think it eventually comes back, actually. But there's no sign of it anywhere, so I guess the entire thing just tumbled into the sea. I always wonder how they build bridges, especially like suspension bridges like that. Whoa, I might actually die. There's moblins over here. I did not think. Ooh, what's this? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to fight these guys. I don't have the hearts to do it, man. Ah! Are you serious? Oh man, it's going to start me back in my boat. There's nothing I could have done there. That sucked, mate. Uh, Alright, let's see where this puts me back. <laughs> it's getting laughing, but on the inside, I'm crying. Yeah, all the way over here. Okay, I'll see you guys in a moment, stupid. Huh. Look at that. A rupee down there. Why is there, why is there one rupee on there? How do I even get to that? Do I have to jump to it from here? Why would some why would anybody ever do that? What? Okay, the wind direction doesn't seem to have changed, thankfully. It almost looks like he can't make this jump. I mean it seems so far away, but no could you could just make it so easily. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm back. This time with a lot more hearts than I started with. Can I, I don't even know. Uh, eh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, suckers. Oh, there you go, get out of here. Wait, what are you gonna drop? Anything interesting? Hearts! Just magic. We have yet to see a bomb drop. Hmm, maybe this is like special. Uh, special mode where it doesn't drop it. Oh, by the way, I got a bottle. Forest Haven, bread. Once again, bread with his ingenious posts. I know recently, like, he posted that. I wonder, like, how recent most of these me posts are. Hmm. Fairy Fountain Site. The spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. Legendary heroes had to come here if the fairies could wear it. Yeah, we read this already. It said, whoever met with a great fairy lived here was blessed with a f great fortune known to be... Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually pretty interesting that the guy comes here. Uh, the guy came here and he, saw, he said he saw a fairy drift into this rock. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's try something here. Oops. Wrong way. I th oh, there's no one for you to connect. I thought when he did that, the signs healed, but apparently not. Anyways, let's pull out our bombs. Should got a comment on the bombs. Definitely one of the most useful items in the game. No! Oh, man. I'm used to, if you stand still and you press A, it drops them. Well, that's a way to waste a bomb. Stupid. Stupid! Yay! <laughs> so 
So this needs to be a fountain. Eh? Oh, there we go. I guess that ruins that theory that you can only buy bomb shops. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Hmm. Maybe I'll actually do. Maybe I'll do that and won't try to collect any bombs from anywhere. Just throw those. Yeah, I could throw up the three bombs at once. Yeah. And, oh man, this place is actually even more beautiful. I remember thinking in the original game that wow, this place is so very beautiful. Look, it's very, 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 very beautiful. And these things are actually slowly falling. Oh my god, it's a magical. Look at the fairy. We need you. No, where'd you go? Oh, hello. A bit different from the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask fairies. Young waker of the winds. Allow me to aid you in your quest. This upgrade is actually mandatory in this game. Actually, there's multiple of these, and I'll explain multiple of one moment here. <gasps> We got the fruit bag. You can now carry more rupees. You can now hold up a thousand rupees. The fairies in this fountain shall ease you of your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we have to get rid of this forest fairy. Bye bye. So apparently, guy doesn't know what to do. If we just watch, he'll just drift away and slowly go into the wall, never to be seen again. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, the great fairy actually healed me. You got a fairy in a bottle. When your energy runs low, you'll collapse from exhaustion. You'll regain your strength and stuff. Great. Yay. Now let's take this off before we accidentally use it like a stoop. Yeah, I forgot we even had the boomerang. <laughs> I love that sound. Yeah, these places are really cool. So yeah, you actually need this rupee bag. Um, in order to progress in the game, you're going to eventually need it. That's weird that you can't jump there. Siddle? Really? <laughs> Alrighty then. Interesting. I did not know we could sit all around like circular walls like that. So, we got a fairy. Let's go save our mommy. I mean our Grammy. Our Grammy award. I guess we could explore the rest of this place. I don't think we'll be here for the rest of the game. Ooh, what is that? Whoa! <laughs> we hit the and turn out of his hand. Ha! <laughs> he tried to throw it there too. <laughs> tried to throw his crap at me. Where do these guys come from? Ow! Oh, I tried to hit my shield there. It did not work too well. I'm going to try to go for his weapon. Bam! Oh, that hit both of them, apparently. Yeah. Whoa! Holy crap, he tried to punch me there. Yeah. Get off of me, assholes. Why are these taking so many hits? We knocked you out. There we go. Beautiful. Whoa! Did they both die? Oh, I think they did. Uh, no skull necklace. But I'll get this guy's skull necklace. That's why I guess using the uh, the thingamabobs it, the thingamawats it. Oops, did not mean to throw that. Guess using the grappling hook is actually pretty useful. Why are those guys even there? <laughs> Assholes. Mm, you know what? It actually, might be worth it to go back to. The, yeah, what? Ah, uh, one second. I'll go back to the fairy fountain. Um, and then meet you guys in a second. Oh, I just learned something. You go into first person mood mode if you click the right controller. I did not know that's how you did that in this game. All right, so I guess I'll start talking. Meh. There's something on top of that? 20 rupees, that's cool. By the way, take a look at the bottom right corner now. Ugh. Oh no! Thankfully, I didn't take any damage here. See, our rupees now turn blue. Yay! Because we can hold up to a thousand rupees now. Look at that pig. He still remembers. He remembers the time I tried to fight him. Alright, so the reason I actually why I didn't come to this house before is because you can actually sneak up top here. And I did not. I forgot you could even do this. Actually, I thought you could. I knew you could do this, but I just forgot you could do this this early in the game. And actually, I could have done this the first time I was here as well. But I actually learned this from watching Game Grumps. I started watching their playthrough of this game. But uh, I'm not going to watch past the point where I have been. Because you know, that'd be lame. The reason why I actually didn't come up here in the first place was because of all the rupees you get. Which I'm apparently not getting because my life sucks. <laughs> Definitely times like this where, though where I wish you had the ability to use your sword inside. Because this would take a lot less time. Seriously, is there going to be nothing here? Yay, rupees. Are these guys not like at all... Worried about the fact that there's big smash noises in their attic that they have no access to. Well, uh, I was gonna try and not pick up any bombs in this playthrough, but apparently that's already false because look, I already have maxed out bombs again. 
Seriously, is there, no, is there no point in coming up here? Is there like, do I get, do I get a secret? If, uh, cause I snuck in here and started going through the front door, I'm about to see something dirty and I'm about to see the sexual intercourse between these two people. There's no point in going up there, is there? Dun 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 dun. Hello! Oh, Link, you made it back! Wait, this guy got a creepy voice to me. Nasty things have been happening here at this night. Here at night, ever since you left on that boat. You would better head home early today. And don't come out to play until after the sun has risen tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna be waiting a while. I'm, I'm so glad you're safe, Link. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised that he returned just as soon as they wake up, that is. Thank you, Arnold. <laughs> Oh, adorable. Did you notice how blood that pig gave us a groan? It's a king among pigs. It's weird. There is no explanation at all for what happened to the other pigs. And hey, look, it's it's the scene of that picture we saw, actually. Oh, I woke him up. Let's see if we can see that again. I'm watching you. Every step you take, I'll be watching. You can play this game in first person mode? I did not know that. Wow, that's crazy. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, let's go save our grandma and clone episode. Yeah, that's never explained what happened to the other pigs. It's just the black one grew up in the other ones. Maybe he ate them. I mean, he is a pig and he is pretty fat. Hey, we got mail. We got mail. Good evening. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. I'm sorry to disturb you with the unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, then please throw away the letter without a second thought. But this is your big chance. Do you want... Do you have a need for an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have all special bargain prices, but we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you. To those who have took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rockspire, Rockspire Shop Ship. Green rupee. You got a green rupee. That's worth one rupee. Better start collecting lots of... Wow. So... Uh, if you guys remember, two episodes ago, we only talked about Beetle's chart. Actually, it might have been last episode. Um, see that strange one near the top left? The one with the helmet? That's actually the special island where he will sell us interesting things like uh, uh, an empty bottle, uh, heart piece, and a treasure chart. So, yay! Let's go heal our grandma up now. Our grandma needs some loving. She needs some McLovin' uh, items. Oh yeah, the fairy, right. I was like, what am I what am I looking for here again? <laughs> Grammy, wakey wakey, I heal you. Oh no, I used it on myself. No, that's always like the terrifying thought though. It's interesting how my heart's and all that on the screen, even though it's a cutscene. <gasps> Who are you, you little bitch? Oh Link, is that you? Grandma's always happy to see your bright shiny face. <laughs> Link, my dear sweet Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Did you do this? Did you hear me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Errol are trying so hard to be strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. Mm -hmm. I haven't even been, I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandmother. Mm -hmm. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You keep it in your empty bottle. <laughs> you got elixir soup, this healthy soup. Your grandmother makes what punishes all your life energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until you take the first hit of damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind old grandma filled your bottle so full that's two helpings inside. Isn't that the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you're wrong, I can make it for more for you anytime. Grandma's gonna try to be strong, you try to be strong too. <laughs> But don't do anything reckless, all right? That's weird. That kind of cuts to me, and I'm all—I'm so happy, Grandma, my dear sweet Link. Whenever you have an empty bottle, just bring it straight to Grandma. I can make more soup for you whenever you like. So, essentially, unless we're already at Windfall Islands, we're gonna be coming here quite a bit, especially when we get more bottles, because we're gonna fill a lot of soup. Actually, we might only be able to keep one one soup bottle. Um, yeah. Hmm, actually, I forgot about that. I think that actually might be true. We might only be able to have one soup bottle at a time. Which kind of sucks, but, uh, well, I guess I, it'll be helpful for later on. Uh, at least I give some, like, points and purpose to the 
um, blue potions and all that, so that's pretty great. Um, Alright, I'm going to call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe not already. My name's Chris. We've pretty much completely explored Grandma's house, or <laughs> outside island, and we've done everything we want to do. So what we're going to do next episode is we're going to go see Jabon. I'm actually going to talk to you. Oh, a customer, I've been for you. You lucky person, you. Pirates sold me bombs for cheap. Now's your chance. Bye, bye, bye. By the way, Mr. Customer, are you acquainted with adorable little pirate girl? You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer. You can't hide from me. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to buy more bait because I need to do that. And actually, we're almost halfway to our silver membership. I think at that point, actually, we get a discount on everything else. All right. Um, yep. Next episode, we will go see Jabun at the back of our island. And then something really cool will happen. Ooh, is that interesting enough for you guys to watch next episode? I sure hope so. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.